from KC24, your local election headquarters, with your host, Evan Onstott. This is Sunday Morning Matters. Hey there, good morning. Thanks so much for starting off your Sunday with us. We appreciate it. We got a good show today. We got lots happening here locally, but really in the state as well. We're going to start with a decision in front of Fresno voters this November, a three eighths of a cent sales tax increase to be spent on parks. Supporters call this a rare transformational opportunity for Fresno, and you've heard from them in recent weeks on this program. But the Fresno Chamber of Commerce recently came out against it, saying any tax increase should also benefit other areas of need as well, like law enforcement. Chamber President Nathan Olley releasing a statement saying, quote, we do not believe a proposal that addresses only one of these problems while committing Fresno's to 30 years of higher taxes is the prudent move. Nathan Olley joining us here. This week, we appreciate you being with us. Nathan. Thanks for having me, Evan. You actually made this announcement. I mean, this came out over a week ago, but right. I'm glad we could get you in now to, to talk about this. When you guys um, make these decisions, support, oppose, just give me the background on what goes into that. Well, the way our process works is, is it's very volunteer driven. We're obviously a volunteer driven organization. Um, folks like me come on television and talk about it, but mm -hmm. uh, it really starts with our volunteers. So we, we took input from our members. We did a survey, we did some polling, we did some member forums where um, both uh, the parks advocates and uh, the, the administration came in and talking about their um, aborted tax plan, if you will, uh, came in and pitched each of those ideas to mm -hmm. us. Our government affairs council met heard presentations on both sides, made a recommendation to our board of directors, and ultimately um, the board voted overwhelmingly to, uh, to to put forth the opposition that you saw. Last That's week. more involved than I think most people would realize. I think so. I think there's a, a perception that it's myself, our vice president, you know, we, we kind of because you're talking come up about with these things in the back room at the, at the elbow room or something like that, but it's a little more to it than that. So what's been the reaction to this announcement? Because here's the thing that is really interesting about Measure P. Right. Is that you have people in the city who normally would be allies and see things really eye to eye on most issues that are on opposite sides of this. Right. So when you come out against this, what's the, what's the reaction from, uh, say, an Ashley Swearingen? It's, it's been difficult. Um, uh, in some corners, but as you say, you know, some folks have been have been very aligned with the stance. Um, I, I think it's one of those things where we're not opposed to a need for parks funding. That's not the case at all. We recognize the need. I think any rational person looking at the condition of our parks would see that. I can see that. I have kids. I take my kids to the parks. We're just not comfortable with this measure and this method of funding without addressing the public safety issues while committing everybody to 30 years. You know, I know that you want to see a measure that would support parks and law enforcement. You made that clear. Right. The problem with that is that right now there is no measure that, that right. does that. There was one that the mayor wanted to put forward. It did not get the city council support, and so it had to get pulled. And parks, obviously, as you mentioned, it is an area of need in the city of sure. Fresno. Is there any concern, any pause, that perhaps you are missing, as Larry Powell, a conservative guy who supports this and is driving this forward, he calls it a transformational event. Are you worried that, that, that you'd miss the bus on this? If well, here's the thing. You can pass this in November, but the public safety need is still going to be there. It's not going to go away. So then what do you do? Do you go back in 2020? Do you go back in 2022 for a, a public safety tax? Because keep in mind that after that, you're going to have to renew Measure C for the roads. You're going to have to renew Measure Z for the zoo and Measure B for the library. So if you pass this and then you go again in 2020 with a public safety measure, you're now going to the voters of Fresno five times in the next 11 years asking them to raise their taxes. We don't have a problem with raising taxes. The chamber was instrumental in passing Measure C over 30 years ago. We, we are fine with taxes if it's a prudent move that will address as many of the major needs that our community has in one stroke. I think a truly transformative move would be to address both issues. What's the chance that then that comes back around, say, for 2020? A public safety measure? A, a public safety and parks measure. Say this one doesn't, because, you know, there's still a high bar that this has to has to clear. Sure. You know, it's, we still need two-thirds of, of right. a vote here in order for this to pass and, and kick in. If it doesn't, I mean, what are the chances that a joint combo measure like the one the mayor proposed comes back around, I this would, time with signatures? I would hope that the chances are good, because 
just as the public safety need won't go away if the parks measure passes, the parks measure need won't, the parks need won't go away if that measure fails. So you'll have to come back and find a way to address both. And, and, and it, that's the, the nature of compromise. I mean, yeah. everybody's not gonna get what they want all the time. We're gonna have to give and take. We're gonna have to look at that parks master plan, find out what the essentials are. We're gonna have to look at the public safety needs for police and fire and that sort of thing, find out what the essentials are and come up with something that Fresnans are willing to invest in. Mm -hmm. So obviously there's going to be the campaign in support of this. We're going to see some ads. We're going to see a lot of support. We're also going to see a lot of opposition. I know that that campaign is going to be kicking up and revving up pretty strong here. Um, does the chamber participate in this and how much? Typically not to the level that you would think. Um, our opposition to this is intended to be very respectful. We have a great deal of respect for the, the thousands of residents that signed on to this and, and we respect the people behind it. It's just a, a disagreement on how to get there. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think uh, we, our, our organization has never been one to, to negatively campaign. We don't go negative. That's just typically not how we operate. Mm -hmm. um, we just feel that this time around there's a better way. I got about another minute or so left. I, can I ask you a, just a general business question? Sure. We got Orchard Supply closing. We're losing another Kmart. Right. You know, um, other stores have closed. Other stores will close in the future. What's the future of retail going to look like? Obviously, we know that everything's already trending online. But how difficult does that make it for local communities? We see the Amazon jobs coming in, right. but we see other jobs going out. What's it gonna be like five years from now, 25 years from now? You know, it's interesting. Two thirds of our members are small businesses yes. with less than 10 employees. And the businesses that we see open, the retail businesses we see opening are the mom and pops. They're the, the folks with two, three, four, five employees. And they're in some cases growing and doing very well. So I think it's a shift on the retail side from the big box stores, from the, the Kmarts, the orchards, that sort of thing, to maybe when everything old is new again, maybe we circle back to the, the small family owned independent businesses. And those are, I think, the ones that are seeing growth in retail. Do you think people are going to get sick of just shopping by clicking on, on a mouse or on, on their smartphone at some point? I know point? I do. I, you know, it's <laughs> nice to go in. No, I'm, I know what you mean. I, I, I mean, my wife, if she could buy everything on Amazon, she would. But for me, I, it, I like to go in a store and, and touch something and, you know. Pick my, it, up and it turns out my feet are different sizes depending on what shoes I wear. So, meet, you're right. You know right. what I mean? There are some things that I absolutely have to have. I know it's, it, it, is a, it is a time of transformation when it comes to business. It and is. It is just interesting. We'll see where this Fresno for Parks measure goes, Measure yeah. P, um, the Fresno Chamber against this, and we'll see what voters have to say in November. Nathan, thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you, Evan. Appreciate we, it. We appreciate it.